Hello, welcome, and thank you for joining us. First, let me introduce you to my best friend, Rusty. Rusty is a five and a half year old golden retriever and today we are going on one of his favourite walks. Why don't you join us? Tarbert is a little fishing village situated on the isthmus of the Kintar Peninsula on the west coast of Scotland. Today we're going to be travelling south on the coast road out of Tarbert, right down past West Loch Tarbert, down to a little entrance called Cornbui, and then turning and walking along the forest road, curving round, turning north through this vast expanse of forest and over the hill until we come back into Tarbert itself. You can see we've just arrived at Kernbui Road End and Rusty can't wait to get started on the walk. Well, 
at the moment we've turned north and we're climbing up through a section of oak, birch and sycamore. But just up ahead there's something that I want you to see. Let's go and have a look. Perhaps you can see over there in the background the remains of an old ruined croft. I wonder who lived there. I don't suppose anybody now remembers them. And yet in the Bible, in Job chapter 14 and verse 14, Job asks the question, If a man die, shall he live again? And then in chapter 19, and verse 25, he answers the question. He says, For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. There's something else I want to show you. Well, here we have an old fank or sheepfold at this time of the year it's almost completely hidden by bracken. Probably more than 1500 years before Christ, Job spoke about a redeemer, one who would buy something back. And in John's Gospel, Jesus describes himself as the only door into the sheepfold and also as the Good Shepherd. And then in verse 11, of John chapter 10, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. He's the redeemer that Job was talking about. As we've seen, Tarbert is situated on an isthmus. And as we look away back down the road, we get our last view of Westlock Tarbert. Just ahead, Loch Fine and East Loch Tarbert comes into view. Of course, in Scotland, you can never be sure when it's going to rain. A local man, Mr. Andrew McDermott, single-handedly carried each stone to this viewpoint and there constructed what has become known as Tarbert Millennium Cairn. For Rusty, a good walk includes chasing a ball,
meeting a friend. Allowed to cool off in the nearest muddy ditch, and then a clean up in the bottom. Thankfully this walk is not all uphill, as you'll see in our next section. Here we are just above Tarbert and the end of our walk. I've been thinking again about that little fank or sheepfold way back down the road there. Perhaps it would have been at the end of a day just like this that the shepherd would have gathered his little flock into the fold for the night. And you know the Bible says that at the end of the world God is going to do something very much like that. In Matthew chapter 25 and verses 32 to 34 and verse 41, we read these words. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. And in verse 41, Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. I wonder where you'll be on that day. Some people think that if they live a good life, if they go to church, read their Bible, say their prayers, give to charity, that somehow they hope it'll be all right at the end. And that Christians are really those who think themselves better than everyone else and have a sort of holier-than-thou attitude. 
But you know, in Romans chapter 3 and verse 23, we read, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And Christians are those who realize that they have a problem with sin and they need to do something about it. And that's where the Redeemer comes in, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd who gave his life for the sheep and who died there on Calvary's cross to pay the penalty, the price for the sin of all those who would put their trust in him. The Bible says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. If you would like to know more about this, why not visit my little website? It's www.savedandkept.wordpress.com And if I can help you in any, in any way, you'll find my details on the site. Please get in touch. Thank you for being with us today. I hope you've enjoyed Rambling with Rusty.